Oh, howdy diddly dandy there, Jams Tazai, Captain of the Steves. I'm back inside of No Man's Sky. I need to be hitting up a few more frigate missions and sending them out. See what they bring us back in. I mean, I'm going to continue doing this anyhow. Might as well, man. Let's see what we get. There we go. I need to level up my frigates. So, yeah, let's get these going then. Coolio. And you've seen me do this a lot of times. Let me uh, jump back over into game, people. So I'll just show you me doing one. So I'm going to send out any that aren't already S-Class, I think, people. Just focus on those to get them levelled up. There we go. And go, go, go. Next one. And that's pretty much all I'm doing, people. So I'm just assigning these guys out, making sure I've got at least one organic in there. Might as well, mind I? And uh, send them out. Oh, I've got a pirate one there that looks a bit broken. Right, I'll reconvene in a moment, people. Well, how do that chance? I'm at the derelict freighter, the same freighter I was at yesterday. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, I'll put it up there. Go hit it up. But basically, I'm going to show you how quickly you can run a derelict freighter. Because um, you don't have to loot anything. I was only looting stuff because I wanted the base parts. And I was only interacting with the data pads because I wanted to unravel the lore and see what was going on. But now I'm just going to go as fast as I can, which is still moving like a slug in freaking taffy, just to get through this and get to the last room and get to the bulkhead. So, yeah, it you don't have to do everything, is what I'm saying, pretty much, people. Take that, you, you slimy git bags. Ah, uh, went to the wrong door. So over this way, then, and take it. Ah! Where's the blue door? There it is, down in this corner. Die! Out of it! Scatters of evil! Hold on, this is the way I freaking came in! Okay, well, I would normally show you how quickly you can run this, but right now I've lost my freaking door! Where's the blue door? Right, take that! There it freaking is! Sorry, people. So you can just leg it all the way through. I say leg it, and it's sort of like gingerly walk. There we go, down here. There is another really tricky door to find inside of this as well. Oh, yeah, there's the blue one, I mean the pink one. We don't want to go there, we don't want to go for blue doors only. Take that, there you go, blue door. Run, like the wind. Open sesame. Okay, is this the one where it's a bit weird? We have to sort of run for a wall, yeah. I think this is the one. And then I take a right. Yeah, here we go. That's the that's the main that's the trickiest one. I don't know how why I got so foxed with the previous one. Sorry, people. I got sort of turned about. Here we go. Through here. Open sesame. Down here. We're nearly there now, people. Over this way. Open sesame. Last room. Straight over to the bulkhead. Boom. Now, some people said that they're not getting an S-Class module. They're getting a C-Class. Well, as long as you're in Euclid and you're in the right system, it should work. There you go. And it should be an S-Class, even if you just run it like this. There you go. I got myself an S-Class thingy, my thing. Get out of it, freaking evil. Right, let's transfer back up. Cool. I mean, it's, it's not the most fun thing to do, I know. Okay, we've got another S-Class one of them. Oh, that's cool. Brilliant, eh? All right, anyway, I'm going to run back to my shipity ship. So there's that way of getting technology. Now, the ship that I'm in right now isn't my living ship. This ship, I've actually put in something pretty cool. I've put in this weapon here, which is the Infra Knife. It's really good for taking out Sentinel Dreadnoughts. Now, if you do take out a Sentinel Dreadnought fairly quickly, they usually give you S-Class modules. So now I'm going to show you how to find an S-Class, well, a Dreadnought that we can go up against. So inside of here, I've also got the Conflict Scanner installed and Economy Scanner, which helps to spot the little skull icons. But we're looking for a pirate area of space. So we're looking for a little skull icon like that one right there. Somehow it's out of drum range. Yeah, because um, at the moment my 
my ship hasn't got very good warp drive. That's the only thing I haven't upgraded. Dang it. So it could take me a couple of jumps to get to that pirate system, but that does seem to be the closest one. So if I can jump there, can I jump there? Oh, come on. Let me jump somewhere near here. Ah, oh, for fudge. You know what? I might go to a few stations and upgrade my warp drives and then I'll be right back with you people. OK. I know, chums. Well, the best that this agent inside of this station sells is A-Class. So I'm just buying those as placeholders for now. And hopefully it's going to get me somewhere close to where I need to go. And uh, hopefully we can go shoot down one of these pirate freaking things. I mean, I've got up to 702 at the moment, but that's going to have to do for now. Righto. OK, chums, it is now in jumping distance. It's also a dissonance system, isn't it? All right, well, we're off. Let's see if we get a freighter interaction. Hopefully we do. We can do battle with it. No! Dang it! All right. But that's the weapon. That's my weapon of choice for taking out friggin' pirates. Pretty darn awesome weapon, that. Awesome. OK, right. Let's have a look, see if third time lucky, maybe. Something I just realised, chums, is I was actually still in creative mode. I've put it back into normal mode now. So hopefully it knows that I want to do combat. Yes. And hopefully it'll bring in one of these piratey dreadnoughts. There we go. That's what the problem was. Right, let's go get him. Right, so the first thing I do is I take out all the engines. Let's go do that quickly. Kaboom! You have to get in through the shield so fast. And break like hell. There you go. Engines destroyed. Fly on up and over. I'm not going to worry about the missiles for now. I'm just going to fly on down and take out these cannons. Ah! Dang it! Take that, cannons! Ah! I'm proper fluffed up. Okay. Oh no. Oh man, I'm. St what the fudge am I doing? Yeah, right. Take that cannon. And that. Right. Where's the other ones? Is you a cannon? I think you might be. We're going to shoot you anyway. Just follow the red laser beams. There we go. We've got a couple. Any more for any more? Take that out. Kaboom! Flying over here. Take that out, cannon out. Take that cannon. Zap! Right, let's go down into the shield, the shield areas. Boom! We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. And you should see, I get a load of units. And usually you get given, well, you get some standing. Pretty nice. Sweet. Dreadnought has surrendered. And rather than actually accept things from the, um, the, you accept items up here, not the freighter. So go on up. And you go and see the actual Capitano of the ship, this guy up here. Sorry, mate, I just blew up all your cannons. You got some repairs to do, my friend. Right. Demand tribute. Sweet. Load more units. Freaking crud ton of units. Come on. And usually get gifted an S-Class module. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was a bit weird. Ah. Well, maybe they stopped doing that then. Dang it! So it looks like the only way to get S-Class modules then now. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a disappointment, people. I could have sworn they gave you one. Oh well. Done, Dilly, and done. Oh well. 
No, I thought they gave you S class modules, but obviously they don't. I could have sworn they did. For your for your frigate. Or I mean for your for your freighter. But no, I didn't get give a gifted one there, did I? Heck no. No, just checking every inventory. I don't think I got one. Alright, well, that's how you can take out pirate dreadnoughts. And I didn't get an S-class module. Let us know in the comments. Are you getting S-class modules? Was I just freaking unlucky? Did I do something wrong? Let me know if I did something wrong. I mean, it's still saying surrendered and seized the, the bounty. Okay. Can I hire any more ships or something over here? What's, what's going on exactly? Hmm. I mean, I could just blow it all up. Sod it. We're going to blow it all up now. Now that he's surrendered, we're going to just blow it all up. We'll see if we get the S-Class module if I blow it to smithereens, eh? <laughs> well, I haven't tried this before. Take that, cause. Sweet. Fly around this way. Man. Have I already done that one? Yeah, I've already done this one, but there's something else just popped up there, look. Take that. Boom. Okay, that's that one done. It's not even putting up a fight. I feel a little bit sorry for it, to be fair. And then here's the other chasm down here. I fly a bit slower and then these things can pop up and I do them all in one go. I didn't mean to shoot that little green ship. My weapon's just locked onto it. It, it did come from nowhere. That wasn't my fault. Okay, right. Now we should just be able to take out the hull. Because there's no shields remaining now. The only thing is, I can't see how much energy it's got left. It's not really giving me an energy bar. I'll oh, shoot. Oh, there we go. Now let's see if we get an S-Class module. Kaboom! You're done, mate. Freaking have it! Chicka boom boom, chicka pow pow, you're done. Jeez, man, look at that. Completely annihilated it. But no, still no S class module. That was fun, though. It was freaking fun, I guess. Right. Okay, okay. Let's go back inside of the station. And I guess it's a case of having to teleport back then and do derelict freighter runs to get the technology from my freighter. I mean, there are other things I could be doing. There is an actual Outlaws quest line that I can do. The Outlaws quest line, which could be quite good fun. I think it's, what's it called again? Um, the Voice of Freedom. Let's have a look, see if it's inside of my log. Can I be doing it? Under Rebel Star, that one there. I'll tell you what, we'll do that one next episode, people. Okay, so yeah, next episode, I will start doing Under Rebel Star, and we'll see how we get on with that. There's others that I've still got to do. I've still got to do my settlement and all that sort of shenanigans. So there's other things we could do. I might take my focus, focus off of doing derelict freighter runs for a bit because it's not the most fun thing to do, even though you can do it super quick, like I showed you in this episode, people. But until next episode, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people.